The Hague, a city of 450,000 inhabitants who occasionally want to move around and often by public transport. So, what is a city without its trams? Every day, some 150 drive around over almost 200 kilometers of rail lines. But, just like the carpet at home, rails also wear out due to intensive use. Then, it's time to renovate. Renovation in the traditional way, whereby, in technical jargon, the rails are placed on block and tiles, after which concrete is poured in two layers, but also by an advanced method, the embedded rail construction. This is what the Hague's Hobbemastraat used to look like. But then things became quiet. Who says quiet? It all seems so simple, breaking up the street and in no time building a new track. However, looks are deceiving, especially when the advanced method is used to construct the track. It's a complex process which requires careful thinking. Renewing tracks is also a part of the urban renewal program. HTM opted for the embedded rail construction method. Working in this narrow street demands improvisation. The process starts with a design, after which the construction team is organized. And then the real work begins. After breaking up the road surface, a sand bed is applied and work starts on the sewers. To keep your feet dry, drainage is required. A bottom layer of mixed granulate is now applied on the sand bed. This is first flattened roughly and then leveled accurately with a laser-guided wheel loader. All measurements are checked and double-checked. This part of the process is completed with a compaction of the bottom layer. Regular car traffic will have difficulties to enter the street. Difficulties of pedestrians are overcome by footbridges. Reinforcement is now applied to the bottom layer. A drainage system is included in the reinforcement mesh and connected to the sewers, necessary in Holland's wet climate. The profile, the trough in which the rail will be placed, is already clearly visible. The reinforcement is insulated at the point of the detection loop by which the traffic lights are controlled by the tram. Measurements, again and again, of the reinforcement and the conducting wires which afterwards will guide the slip form paver. The embedded track is much more flexible than the traditional one, which requires a special transitional construction. 
Here, the groove rail changes to rail without groove. Unfortunately, yet inevitably, the people and the shop owners in this street suffer from the construction work. No traffic, few clients. De ondernemers van de Hommelstraat die zijn gedupeerd omdat heel die straat nog open ligt. Er kan niemand eh, verkeer, mensen kennen daar moeilijk bij. Je ziet het, niemand in het huis. En, eh, maar aan de andere kant van de medaille, als je een mooie huis hebt met een mooie vloer, dan wil je ook een mooie straat met een mooie vloer. Time for the most important part of the building process, pouring and shaping of the concrete, which results in the final track construction with the trough for the rails. Trucks supply the concrete from a nearby concrete mixing plant. The track will be modeled with an ingenious machine, the slip form paver. Meanwhile, the measurements are checked again. The worm wheel spreads the concrete across the entire width of the machine. Behind the worm wheel, vibrating needles compact the concrete. At a speed of 25 meters an hour, the machine models the concrete profile in a single process, including the trough for the rails. The paver is guided accurately by the conducting wires, whereby the horizontal and vertical position is controlled. After a final adjustment of the concrete mixture, the quality looks good. This project requires a total of 110 tons of reinforcement steel, 800 cubic meters of concrete and 1200 meters of rail. Wherever necessary, the profile is finished off. And to avoid the concrete track from drying too quickly, it is covered entirely with plastic foil. Guards make sure the work is conducted safely. Once the concrete is strong enough, the rails can be placed. Installation in the trough, which will finally be filled up with a cork elastomer called corklast. A hollow PVC pipe is installed on both sides of the rail in order to save filling material. The rails, which are supplied in lengths of 18 meters, are connected to each other with thermite joints, after which the joint is ground flat. Also here, many hands make the work easier. First, rubber bonded cork pads are laid in the trough. This affects the rail's elasticity and absorption. The trough is now cleaned and blown dry to ensure proper adhesion. Shims are laid on the pads to obtain the correct rail position. PVC tubes, which save the cork last, are attached. At the beginning and the end of the track, the rails are cut to size.
In the next stage, the rails are accurately aligned. The preparatory activities for the casting in of the rails. Blow out the trough. Seal the trough's leading edge. And apply the adhesive primer. The spacers keep the rail in the correct position. Pouring the corklast is the following step. In the meantime, the connecting groove rails are welded with traditional means. To keep up with the planning, the work continues even during the night. Work in progress while you sleep. In the transitional construction, special cork rubber slabs with increasing suspension are applied between the rail and the concrete base. A series of eight slabs provides a smooth transition between the stiff, traditional rail and the flexible, embedded rail. After six weeks of hard work, just before dawn, the project nears completion. Remember the process. The result, a modern tram track. Time for the first ride on the new track. For the builders, always an exciting moment. The most important work is now clearly done. All that remains is finishing off the project and testing the transitional construction. Transducers on the supports will record the passing tram. Slowly, the tram rides over the track. The compression of every wheel is measured separately at every support. As a check, another measurement is made on a stationary tram. In the transitional construction, in the direction of the embedded rails, a wheel compresses ever more. The new tram track is now almost ready. The roadway is repaired. And finally, a bauxite gravel layer completes the work. Also a surprisingly complex process requiring a clean surface for good adhesion. After priming, an adhesive layer is applied and the bauxite gravel scattered on it. Now, the Hague's Hobbermast plant has a brand new advanced floor. <laughs>